Let's rewind to the moment Anna decided she wanted to own her own home. She needed to save for a down payment and other costs associated with purchasing a home. But where was that money going to come from? Anna realized she had her work cut out for her after assessing her financial situation with a credit counselor. First and foremost, she needed to start managing her money differently in order to reduce debts and increase savings. With some research, she could get a conventional mortgage with a down payment as low as 3%. That comes out to $7,500 down on a $250,000 home purchase. However, the closing costs could be as much as her down payment. Anna needs to save at least $15,000 to have enough cash on hand at the time of purchase. After the bills are paid, Anna usually has $250 left over each month. She set up an automatic deposit into a separate savings account to get the ball rolling, but that wasn't enough. Under that budget, it would take more than five years to save for the amount needed. So, Anna tightened her belt and went into thrifty mode. Her strategy was to cut expenses where she could and save a little money here and there. Anna started setting aside her federal tax refund. That netted $3,000. Then, she cut the usual suspects out of her budget. Lattes and cocktails were the first to go. Cable was next, followed by brown bagging her lunch to work. Over the course of a year, those savings totaled $3,500. Added to the tax refund and her automatic deposits, Anna had saved $9,500 after just one year. Her mom chipped in an additional $1,000 gift, and Anna was well on her way to affording her first home.